Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so, got another one. This time it's not a G. It's a Neo. It's an N. Something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's show you what I got here. I guess the, the, the suspense is unneeded. You guys have already seen the title of the video, so but we're gonna have a little bit of suspense anyway. So, I've already opened it. Uh, I haven't taken the saw out itself, but I did take the toolkit out. Uh, look Gary, guys. On Mac. It's a Mac. I don't know if it's, a, it's got like skills with the ladies or not. Okay, so here we go. Let's look at the toolkit. Uh, so, uh, uh, I'm very impressed with the quality of the, of the tool kit. Uh, it's the best one I've seen so far, by far, by far. Uh, for that matter, even over what we call the more commercial brands like uh, Steel and uh, Husqvarna Echo, you know. So anyway, you're old fan. Even the scrunch is uh, built really, I don't know, it just seems solider. It just does. Do you hear that hit? Does that sound more solid? Okay. And... Uh, probably extra dog or maybe the one for the cover. I don't know. We'll see uh, Yeah, this is cool. So T-Wrench. Yeah, man. Yeah, I like that Number eight. Yes, sir. It's a Mac I don't know. Uh, So uh, Carburetor adjustment tool What we got here? Oh, oh Yes, sir. Depth gauges, grinding wheel depths. These are cool. Yes, sir. What have we got? Oh, very cool. Very cool. A lot of cool stuff. They, 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 like I said, they send you some. Oh, piston stops. I like it. Looked like there was another one in there. Oh, wow. Nice T. I didn't see this in when I first opened up. Nice T handle. Huh? That's nice. That looks good and sturdy. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, so I didn't know that it came with all this tools. I mean, I looked at it on the website, but I guess I didn't look close enough. Uh, very cool. Would you guys like these? I don't usually typically use them, but, uh, I think I might, I, uh, the double ring, uh, for the 660, uh, it kind of messed with me a little bit when I put that one in. So probably we'll start, uh, little wrench. 10 millimeters and some extra bolts guys I suspect it's for the, uh, the log dog yes sir so very cool I like that I like when they uh, when they sent terroristic flies guys so here locally we're going to get why is he buzzing me uh, here locally, we're going to get uh, freezing temperatures this weekend, like into the 20s. <laughs> we're going to kill these little suckers. If you watch my channel regularly, I complain a lot about the... F See, across the street from us is a large... We have a hobby farm, okay? And across the street, we have a big farm. And we live in a rural, small town. I'm talking like 200 people, guys, in the whole town. Uh, so we live right on the skirts, uh, outskirts, of, or just on the edge of town of those, you know... So right across the street is an awfully big farm. Flies. Can't stand them. That's why I got all these uh, fly traps up there. Now these are cool bubble wraps. Y'all know how I like my bubble wraps. We just, he's gonna send out a saw today, but my wife made it late to the, to the uh, post office. And so, turns out my buddy's gonna show up here next weekend so he's just gonna pick it up anyway so it'll probably save me what i don't know 20 30 bucks yeah this is cool little bubble wrap y'all ain't seen nothing right now sorry okay here we go hold on just a second guys so little farm max scabbard Okay, so the main event here, guys. The main event. Oh, yeah, that's sharp. Is sharp. 
Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah. So it kind of looks like my Grim Reaper, right, guys? Uh, it sure does. Wow. So there's, I guess there's a film that you can pull off of these Farmac uh, placards. Uh, so this will be one of the very first saws that I have no intentions on doing any cosmetics to. Uh, this one comes pre-cosmetic. Y'all like my terminology? Uh, pre-cosmetic. Uh, anyway, it comes already uh, uh, looking pretty cool. So this thing have to run a long time before I have any need to give her any coloring. So let's uh let's look for a thing. It's a pretty cool filter. Yes, sir. Man, that is sharp, guys. I, I can't tell you how much how sharp it is. I hope the I hope the uh I hope the camera's doing it justice because man, this thing is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Uh, I was talking to Indiana Doug, and he said that uh, that this was his favorite model yet. So I'm hoping the same. Yes, sir. Comes with a nice uh, skid plate for the for the handle. Uh, I like that. I really do. Uh, so. So I just so happen, if you guys watched the video, oh, it was one of my long videos, maybe four or five back, that I got some new bars from the steel dealer. Yes, sir. So I ordered this one barless uh, for that reason. Man, that's nice. It's just really super nice, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. This uh, bar will look nice on it. So, yeah, I know a lot of y'all are thinking, ah, oh, 20 inch bar. Well, guys, as I've said in the past, I do a lot of milling, okay? It's the reason for my machines, okay? And so, on my meal, on my meal, on my meal, on my mill, uh, you run uh, 20 inch, uh, 20 inch uh, bars, because if, you, if your bar is too much longer than that, it'll stick out the other side of the log, and if it sticks out too far, it'll get this little vibration past it, it's no good. So, uh, I, uh, I'm looking for my chain. So I, uh, so I need to run twenties. Now I do a lot of other stuff. So I, I, you know, I've got a 25, uh, for steel that I run on the 660. Uh, if it goes on the mill, I put a 20 on it. And, uh, um, uh, and then I keep my good bars. Uh, I keep one or two bars that run on the mill just because you're going to burn, you know, they, take a lot of heat and the paint comes off them and that kind of stuff. So my good bars, I, I don't typically put on my mill unless I, unless it's, it's turned, meaning, uh, like I've screwed up the other ones far enough, or, uh, I have a saw that doesn't share bars with something then it obviously has to run on it. So, so new chain. Yes, sir. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I really like these steel chains. I do. Uh, I used to make fun of them, probably just because uh, I want I, I wanted to buy the cheaper ones. But I've been using a lot of these steel chains come lately, and I like them. I do. Uh, I've I've learned to like them. I really do. Um, s seems like some, which is might sound weird, but it seems like some of them are better quality than others. I don't know why that would be. I need to put the, the log dog on. So it looks like to me, okay, that, uh, uh, that you have to install it. 
See, so it's almost just like the 660 then. I'm gonna use their trusty uh, wrench that they sent with it. That fits pretty good. Some of them have more play in them. Uh, yeah, some of them have more play in them. I don't like that. That one seems to fit pretty good. Uh, yeah, man. Boy, this machine's made nice. Really is. You know, we. Let's see. Wonder what these two screws are for, guys. Anybody know what these screws are? Are they just extra screws that come with the machine or what? They look like handlebar uh, screws, you know, meaning the threads are less dense. Yes, sir. Good looking machine. Have I said yet? That's good looking machine. Yeah, uh, yeah, like I said, it, it seems to be a lot. You know, I don't, it seems to be well made. It just really is, guys. Uh, you know, I, uh, I'm not a, I don't really criticize Holtz Farmer too much because of the fact of, you know, for your price, what you're getting is, is, is a really good deal in my opinion. And, uh, you know, price point, you can't beat it. You just can't. And, uh, but... Thus far, I think this is of a pretty good quality right here. Sure do. Uh, let's see, that muffler. Uh, that muffler might need a little bit of opening. We'll have to see. It has uh opening in the side and in the front left left top uh, so might cause it enough to breathe that looks like plenty but you guys know me i'm gonna do some kind of muffler mod to it uh you know i i, I have the 025 that i call mini reaper this one just might have to be the mini reaper guys uh, that saw is actually going, the 025 is going to uh, Ram Outdoors. A uh, guy that runs another channel and a friend of mine. And so, this might have to end up being Mini Reaper right here, guys. Yes, sir. I have to use a wrench. Yeah, it's really nice. Get her on there good and tight. Oh. Let's see, get this. The only thing so far of course, it's just because of the model. It ain't. It's their. Uh, they're doing. But only thing I can criticize thus far that I don't typically like is the chain tensioners in the front right here. Uh, not big about that, but it's okay. Let's see. Why is this? Why is this beating me? It's already on here, so let's see. Oh, right there it goes. I had a, oh, a few weeks ago I did a video with the 288. I had the 36 inch bar on there. And the chain come off. And it ripped this uh, aluminum chain catch right off. Um, I'm not sure, I get maybe it's because I had the chain too loose. I'm not sure. Uh, but it came off. Got me in the leg a little bit. Didn't hurt me. Uh, my wife had just shut off the, the camera or I would have showed it actually. 
I like showing that kind of stuff. I do. Um, so, let's check this out. Let me grab a screwdriver. Yeah, I'd rather the tensioner, uh, tensioner be in the uh, clutch cover myself. Um, makes it easier to, although, I'll tell you what, you could probably, on my mill, these front ones are actually easier because I can get to them to tighten up the chain and not have to take it all the way off the mill. So that's an upside, but this one won't go on the mill. Oh, it might. I don't know. Uh, not for a while. There's plenty of plenty of other saws to go to go on that mill. So I uh, no real reason to, to to put it on there. And uh, I like to uh, let's just be honest, guys. A, a mill, a chainsaw mill, special a chainsaw mill really t tears up a saw it really does and uh you know like an alaska mill that's one thing but you know like a norwood porta mill you can really really abuse your saw just because you know that that slide that that carriage you can apply as much pressure as you want so you have a tendency to overwork your saw if you're not careful so um i try not to but it happens right now the zenoa clones the 60 class cc i've been doing a lot of milling with those uh for like i said mostly just because uh, uh it's their turn even though they were a new saw i haven't had them very long um they're only a hundred dollars plus so that little pink way the 63 cc i have milled a lot of lumber with that thing lately i really have uh, it needs a muffler mod uh to get the heat out we, we always talk about getting the heat out of the saw and so, uh, and this thing's so white, you almost feel like you gotta wear gloves to, uh, to, uh, to handle it. Y'all know how I like my cosmetics on my, on my saws. I really do. Well, and not all of them. You know what? If it's a nice saw, I want to keep it nice. You know what I mean? I'm big on my maintenance. Real big on my maintenance. And even if I just go outside and do a a, a cut for uh, some cookie cutting for a video, even though it's maybe just three or four cuts, I blow it off on the way back in the door. I really do. There we go. We're gonna tighten her up. Where are we going? 18 minutes? I try to keep these videos reasonably long for you guys don't bail on me during it. Uh, I understand people got stuff to do. Yeah, this is really nice, guys. I've opened up so many of these whole farmers and stuff that, uh, uh, I am quite impressed with this one. Like I said, Indiana Doug said that this is one of his favorite units, or his favorite unit thus far may have been the exact quote. Uh, um, so, like me, he also has a, a lot of saws of these, you know, these Chineseums, as Aaron Lynch likes to call them. Uh, and so, uh, he would know that's nice you know i'd really like to have my must be right here so there must be another log dog they must attach right here maybe that's what those other bolts were for i don't know we'll have to find out i'm sure a lot of you guys already know most of y'all are looking at the screen right now going this is why Throw it in the comments. So, all right, guys. So there we have it. Uh, we're gonna do some uh, first starts and that sort of thing. Uh, some heat cycles. Y'all know how I love my heat cycles. If it does any good or not, I don't know. Uh, can't hurt it. I can tell you that. 
And so that is a beautiful saw, guys. It really is. Uh, seems pretty lightweight for 70 something class CC saw. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, I'll film the, the first starts on it and all that kind of stuff and some cuts. And I'll do some videos this evening uh, for it. And uh, we'll check her out. Okay, guys. So as always, y'all stay safe.